Hey everybody, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Yakima Exosystem on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner. I have the configuration of the ski and snowboard carrier paired up with the cargo carrier. This is gonna be a really cool system that's not only gonna give us the capacity to carry what we have here today, but if you really wanna go all out, you can get all the accessories that go with this. So you can get a box, you can get a bike rack, just whatever you're looking for for the season. So you can see here, this is gonna provide a really good space to store all of our gear on our Forerunner. You know, getting up on the roof, especially during a snow season, you know, maybe you don't wanna get up there. Maybe you've got a box. There's a lot of different reasons where your roof is maybe not something you're looking to get stuff on top. We've got the back end full so we can get a, a storage box and a cooler back here. Uh, just carry a lot of different gear on it. So taking a look at the snowboard carrier, this is gonna be very similar to what you'd see on a rooftop setup. We're gonna be able to carry up to four snowboards and up to five pairs of skis. Now a lot of that plays into what type of skis and snowboards you're using. You can see I only have one pair of skis on today. Something that I found that I'm not a big fan of um, is just the way it clamps down on certain types of bindings. Now, if you've got bindings like this, you're gonna be limited because of how much room they take up. But if you're gonna have more modern uh, bindings, um, something that's gonna be a little bit different, it's not gonna have that clamping down issue right there. So on a rooftop with ski and snowboard carriers, you can kind of play around with that a little bit, um, depending on where your roof rack's lined up. So maybe you're not clamping down on those bindings. Now, a lot of bindings don't have that setting right there where we're clamping down. So it's just going down on the ski here. Um, which limits us with our setup today. So we wouldn't be able to get up to five pairs of skis on there because of that. So a lot of the times what you're gonna do is stack your skis up. So you'd stack them up like this on your roof, but you can definitely see there, we're not gonna be able to do that. So if I could adjust those and make them wider, it wouldn't be an issue. Um, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, how wide your skis are. If you've got some really wide powder skis, you're probably not gonna be able to get five pairs of skis on there. Um, we'll get a measurement here in a second for you, but I just wanted to show you, uh, if you have bindings like this, you are definitely gonna have some issues with getting this clamped down um, and getting the maximum capacity out of your carrier. Uh, when we are clamping this down though, if you wanna take a closer look here, it gives us really good bite there. So I'll get this one back in place too. So it's definitely gonna do a good job of holding those in place. You can see here, really have to get after that one. That's not something I really want to, but I think that's just gonna be a problem we have with our bindings today. But you can see here, we're getting a really good bite on that, able to get our stuff on there good. Now, the nice thing about this, with this whole exosystem, is that I can swing it away. So after we're done riding for the day, I can come back here and there's a knob that's gonna allow me to loosen this up. So we just have to twist that. I like that it's so large that I can get a good hand on it to get that loosened up. We'll pull that out and then there's a release right there and we can start getting this swung out from our back end and then it's gonna latch in place right there. So that gives us full hatch access so if we need to get any more gear out of the back end, sit down to put our boots on, uh, whatever we're looking to do, I really like that I can get this opened up all the way with all of our gear on the back. Now, another thing that we can do with this, um, we can swing this around. Now, maybe you don't have a reason to do that uh, with the skis on here, but there's also a tabletop that you can put on here. So maybe you wanna be out in the parking lot and have a bite to eat and you just put a table on top of here. Uh, that's sold separately, but it's going to come locked and then we'll take this knob out. Now, that's one thing that this doesn't stay put. You have to take it out of the way and we'll remove this pin and we can swing this around. Also with this swung out, I can get full access to, you know, I've got my cooler here, I've got storage box. So if we need to get into there without taking it all the way off, that's another way of doing it. Um, just to kind of help it make it be a little bit better for you, whatever you need it to be. Um, I'm gonna get this swung around again and put this back in place. So I think it's a nice feature. Um, maybe not for everybody, but having it there when we do need it is nice. So this pin can go either way. So if you wanna lock it on the inside or lock it on the outside, 
get that lock there. I'm going to leave that key in place for later and we'll get this knob lined up. Then I'm going to pull this release to get this back in place. And then this will click back in place and then I can get that large knob that's going to tighten everything down all the way. So as you can see there when I was swinging this out, this is a pretty substantial kit. Um, it is going to be very heavy whenever you're taking it off the car to store it, but I think that's what's great about it is being able to swap stuff out. So we can take this off, we can take the ski rack off, we can make it a little bit lighter, but also we can just leave the base on year round and just swap out for whatever we're needing for the season. So maybe you're done skiing for the season and you're switching to bikes, you can put bikes on top. That's another nice feature to it. I'm going to take some of my gear off just so we can take a closer look at this. Before I take it all the way off though, I'm going to take these skis off and just give you a better example of the bindings I was talking about. I've got a set of kids skis here that we can get put in place. This maybe gives us a little bit better example of how we can stack those skis up. As you can see here, not having that full frame of that binding in place, I'm able to get those stacked up and that's how we'd be able to get multiple sets of skis on here. So with everything removed, we can take a closer look here at the cargo carrier. Now this is gonna be similar to what you'd see on a roof, like a roof basket. Um, it's gonna have a weight capacity of 110 pounds, so keep that in mind when you're loading stuff up. And we've got pretty good uh, capacity on how much stuff will fit in here. From interior dimensions, it's right at 21 inches. You can see I had that storage container and a pretty decent sized cooler in here. So 21 by about 54 and a quarter. So pretty good uh, amount of room there. I like that I've got plenty of spots all the way around to uh, tie stuff down, get straps ran there. If you're not wanting something that's so exposed, there is an enclosed boxed version that you can get. Um, and that's just gonna provide probably a little less storage space, uh, but it is gonna keep stuff closed. So, you know, if you're going out skiing, you're probably not wanting all your stuff to get wet. If you're just putting coolers and boxes back there, not a big deal. But if you've got any kind of suitcases, I would consider the box. Now, with that weight capacity of 110 pounds, another thing to keep in mind is how much weight you're adding to the back of your vehicle. So this system by itself, without our skis, without our gear, is going to be around 137 pounds. So keep that in mind whenever you're loading stuff up on the tongue weight of your forerunner. Now, the forerunner, um, has a pretty high capacity depending on what hitch you have. So either check with the manufacturer of the hitch or with the owner's manual if you got a factory tow hitch. Um, but overall, um, we're going to get some measurements on how much this is going to add to the back of your vehicle as well. Something to keep in mind. So I'm going to go from the rearmost part of the bumper. Let's see if I can get a good measurement here to the rearmost part of the cargo carrier because it ends right about where the skis are. And we're adding about 38 inches to the back of our vehicle from the bumper. So not a ton of space, but it's definitely uh, gonna stick back there. Uh, for when it comes to ground clearance, we've got this factory forerunner here. So we don't have any lift or oversized tires. I'm gonna do ground clearance probably right here where these knobs are. And that's going to be adding at about, or sitting at 25, 24 and a half inches. Another measurement to keep in mind is how close everything is here. We've got plenty of room here today, but I'm going to go from the bumper to right here where this knob is. And that's at five and a quarter inches. So plenty of space there. Um, you know, you don't have to tilt it all the way back. If you want to get hatch access, we can just lower our glass there. If we want to get something in or take something out that's kind of small. Now, when it comes to mounting this to our two inch hitch, it does come with an anti-rattle bolt and a lock on the other side. You can get that key to like with all of the different accessories that go with this. Uh, you will have to pick those different uh, lock cores up to match your skis um, or your bikes, uh, but it's going to come match to get with the system down here at the bottom. But you can see here, as much weight as we have in there, there's a little bit of play there, not a whole bunch, whenever we're going up and down, but side to side, and it's gonna take a decent amount of movement there. 
but we're basically shaking the whole vehicle there. So it keeps us nice and tight. Um, another thing to keep in mind is you can add a light kit to this. So, you know, we're potentially, you know, blocking a little bit of lights there. Um, if that's something you're worried about. And if you are in a state that uh, requires your license plate to be visible, there's also a relocation kit that you can pick up too uh, to make that a little bit more legal in your state. And when it comes to swapping out your different accessories per the season, it's really easy to get those in place. So we can just loosen up those knobs, switch that over, and then they just slide right out. So then whether you're putting on another basket, a box, the bike rack, um, they just are just gonna slide back in place. The same way as this ski rack did. Tighten that knob down. It comes with a lock there too. Get those put in place. And then we're back in place. So really easy to swap that out. So you can have the same system and just kind of configure it to whatever you need for the season. Overall, I think this is a really great solution for carrying all your different gear for the 4Runner. You've got this big vehicle, um, you're probably filling it up with a lot of stuff. Whether you don't want to get on the rack, uh, roof rack for you know, snow and want to get stuff down so it's not as dangerous getting skis loaded up or cargo and gear, or you've got a box up there and you're just looking to maximize more space back here on the hitch, I think this is going to be a really cool setup. It is really big, it's really heavy. so. Moving it around when it's off the vehicle is kind of a hassle. Um, probably gonna take two hands. When we get this loaded up, it is a little heavy on the passenger side due to that swing away arm. So you do wanna be mindful of making sure you're lined up properly when you're getting that anti-rattle bolt in place, uh, just so you don't put a lot of pressure on those threads. And then once you get it in place, it's good to go. But that's maybe the downside is how big and robust it is. But it's a small price to pay for being able to have all kinds of different gear getting swapped out on your 4Runner. But that's gonna do it for our look at the Yakima Exosystem on our 2015 Toyota 4Runner.